Just north of Bear Lake, there's a thriving organic dairy at the mouth of Dunn Canyon with lush pastures and a herd of Holsteins. I'm Cole Smith, this is my wife Lynette, and this is Cash, and we are 20, Idaho's 2017 Achiever Award finalists. We have actually a couple other boys that are in school, Duke is eight and Coy is six. The Smiths have a certified organic dairy. I milk about 75 cows, have another 10 to 15 dry head along with that, and also about 80 head of beef cows as well. Um, this farm and ranch has been in my family. I am the sixth generation, I believe, sixth or seventh. Um, it's been really neat, been able to come back and, and join right along in this farming operation and take it over. Smith's move to organic was a business decision. Um, we transitioned about 11, 12 years ago into the organic dairy market just because it was getting a little harder for the small family farms of the 78 ahead, 80 head to continue to operate and and we found out about this organic market, decided to try it and we thought you know even if it lasts for a year or two it's better to try it for that short amount of time and we've been able to continue on doing it. We, there's a market for it. And Beside I, the dairy, the Smiths also have beef cattle. And this is just the, the way that we are doing it. We have the beef cows on the side. They are not organic, kind of as a supplemental income in the fall to help pay our taxes and, and insurance and things like that. And The busy Smiths also run a farm on the side. We farm about 20, we'll have about 1,500 acres of farm ground and another 1,000 acres of pasture land that we have around here. Most of it's right here close and you have some down in Georgetown, so a little bit of lease ground as well that we have that we're able to sell extra crops, about three to 400 ton of extra hay every year and about 300 ton of feed barley we sell to help with the extra supplemental income to our other neighboring organic dairies. Lynette stays busy on the farm too. So my part in the farm here is I help to feed the calves and bottle calves and grain them and I get all of the tags prepared to put into the, all the heifers ears um, and then of course I take care of our financial side of things and try to keep that all in line. The Smiths say with support they're able to achieve. But I think as long as we as we can stay together and that's a good thing that Farm Bureau does for us, you know, that we have this good unified voice that so we can all can continue to farm and ranch and do the things which we need and need to do and want to do and enjoy doing. The Smiths will compete on the national stage in January at the annual meeting of the American Farm Bureau Federation held in Nashville, Tennessee.